If you're thinking about moving right here to Cypress, Texas, and you want a new construction home in a boutique master plan community, in a fantastic location, zone to A-rated schools, you're gonna wanna check this one out. We have not shown you this neighborhood before, and I've been waiting to show it to you. And they just finished the amenity center, and that's what I was waiting on. And let me tell you, these are top-notch amenities. You got amazing shopping here in a great location with the schools. Excited to show it all to you. We got five different builders we're gonna be checking out. Let's dive in. So who wants to save the best for last when you can just have the best first? So we are in Toll Brothers 80 foot model home and they're actually gonna build a smaller product in this neighborhood as well, but that's not the one we're checking out right now. We are checking out the biggest model home in this neighborhood first. It's also gonna be the most expensive, but it's sitting around 5,000 square feet and this one's gonna come in over $1.1 million. They actually start building around 4,000 square feet on the smaller side in these 80 foot products. And this is the only builder that's gonna get you up over 6,000 square feet. So right when you come in, you got this cool office over here. Uh, most floor plans are gonna have the office up at the front of the house. And so that's just gonna be pretty standard. Um, but as you come in, it opens up, you've got one of two staircases, which we'll show you in a little bit right here. And then you've got the formal dining. So you're met with the formal dining. We can kind of circle back to this because I wanna get you to the main part of the house, which is gonna be this huge kitchen and living room, very open concept, very sleek, very modern. And right when you walk in, I think your eyes are immediately drawn upwards. You've got this kind of two-story downstairs living room. They've got the beams to match these real wood floors. Very pretty, this nice light wood. Seems like everybody likes that these days. And then it's gonna flow seamlessly over here into the kitchen and let me just tell you, this kitchen is nice. Toll Brothers, if you're not familiar with them, they are known as America's luxury builder. And this is the product that they're known for. They've started to build some smaller products here around the Houston area, but this is actually their bread and butter. This is what they specialize in, highly customizable million dollar plus homes. And that's exactly what you're getting with them in their 80 foot products here in Dunham Point. You're gonna have the option for some very high end appliances, higher end than most builders are gonna offer. Uh, you can spend, 10,000 plus dollars just on a range with them. But what I've learned with appliances is you actually get what you pay for. So got this larger built-in fridge over here as well, and then plenty of cabinet space. And then it kind of continues this way back over into the dining room. But I wanna show you, very good size pantry. And then I love that they've got this extra little coffee bar here. It's not necessarily a prep kitchen, but you can kind of hide your stuff over here. That way it's not cluttering up the kitchen. And we'll kind of loop back around. And then, one thing I wanna show you here on the first floor is they have their media room down here. So most bigger two-story homes actually have the media room upstairs. That, this just goes to show how big this home really is. If they're able to fit a media room here on the first floor and it's not cramped, that's how you know that you're inside of a really big house. They've got this kind of multi-leveled media room. I mean, this, this can easily sit like eight people. This is huge. You got the jazz on. Now, as you come back over here and you look up, you're gonna see the staircase that you're greeted with when you walk in the front door. I think it's a pretty good statement piece. It's not one of the big spiral ones, but as you can see, it's nice and open in here and it heads on upstairs. But there is a second bedroom here on the first floor that I wanna show you. This is going to be your ensuite uh, bedroom bathroom. So it's gonna be great for guests. It's on the first floor. So anybody that can't get up and down the stairs, you're gonna have that access right here. And then come take a peek in. It's very nice. You've got uh, a walk-in shower. So typically that's what we see uh, with people with elderly parents. They'll do the walk-in shower. So this is gonna be a three car garage. You've got one of them right here. Come on in. I don't know how to work these light switches. There we go. Figured it out. They've got this kind of set up as a mini design studio. Just so you know with Toll Brothers, you're gonna go to their real design studio. These are just happen to be a couple samples here but you're gonna be able to get fully custom on these homes. And so if you build this home yourself, you're actually gonna have a side load. This is essentially a third car garage or a golf cart garage. So if you're looking for a golf cart, let me know, but this is a great place to hold your golf cart. And then check this out. What a cool, I guess, staple of the living room is to have this. You got these nice black metal doors, but you come on in here, you can keep the kids out of your liquor cabinets. But look at this, it's a mini bar. They obviously have real alcohol in here. These aren't just props. Plenty of storage, but you're gonna have the option with this builder to do an actual wet bar here if you wanted a sink. You could actually open this up and just kind of have it lower railings. You got plenty of options. Once again, fully custom. Now, before we go check out the master bedroom, I do wanna show you these sliders. These sliders are a game changer when it comes to opening up the home. You're gonna be able to open them all the way up 
and connect that outdoor space to this indoor space. But what I love is that they've kind of carried these cathedral ceilings from inside out here. They've got the music playing, really set the ambiance. This home is the more modern thing that a lot of people want. It's got that white painted brick with those black accents. It seems to be a theme. It sounds like about 2018 is when everybody switched from the earth tones to these more modern black and whites. I personally like it. My house looks a lot like this, not quite as big. And they even have that massive oversized fan out on that back patio because it gets hot here in Texas. Luckily, right now when we're filming this, it's not that hot. So as you head over this way, you got your gas fireplace. I do like that it's set in this cast stone. It's very modern, very sleek. They do have the TV mounted above the fireplace. And then this is gonna be that second staircase, which we'll get to here in just a second. But right back this way, this is where you're gonna have your laundry room. And there's plenty of room in here. They've got the full sink, the full laundry sink, the built-ins decked out. And then you flip around over this way and you've got your little shoe rack and, or shoe, shoe area and coat rack for the kids. And then right over here is gonna be the master bedroom. And this is one of the prettiest master bedrooms I've been in a long time. Look straight up. I mean, you got, these are like 12, yeah, at least 12 foot ceilings, maybe 13 with the, uh, with the recess section, you've got the natural wood. I don't even think that's stained, it's really pretty. This room's huge. Um, they've got this seating area here in front of the um, king size bed. And then one of the options with Toll Brothers that's actually not an option in a lot of these kind of even seven, $800,000 homes is gonna be, they'll do the trim work for you. So you're gonna see a lot of trim work in a house like this. There might be $50,000 just in trim in this house, but it's gonna set it apart. It's really gonna accent it. It's gonna give you all this different textures here. They did the wallpaper, but I love this. You're gonna walk into basically the bathroom suite. So if you go this way, you've got the closet. We'll check that out first. Plenty of room in here. I mean, it's, it's very big, very spacious. You can go more custom on the closets too. If you wanna pay to have them do more built-ins or dressers and stuff, that's gonna be an option. This is actually a very basic closet for Toll Brothers. I like this too. You can have like a little shrine of whatever it is that you idolize. Um, but you come in here, you got your huge walk-in shower. I love the brass fixtures, your soaking tub, perfect view for the neighbors to stare at you. And then if you can film this Keith without being in the video, even some nicer built-ins right over here too. Say hi. Let's be honest, you wanted to be in this video, Keith. All right, so coming in here, this is a two-person shower. I guess technically any shower could be a two-person shower. You got your trusty bench down over here. Come check this out. You know, if you're a shower guy, your wife's a bath girl, you can just wave, say hi. But uh, I don't know, is it overkill? You tell me in the comments. Do you need a shower this big? Is it overkill or is it just right? Oh, I was seeing how that was gonna work. It's actually pretty comfortable. So you got a massive upstairs game room here. It's really good size. Obviously, I don't even know what these are. I would probably just have a sofa up here. Um, I guess a fun area for the kids. These aren't love sacks. Love what they did. They got the TV built in right here. It's obviously an upgrade. This is probably not something that came from the design center. They probably had their designers do it, but spacious uh, upstairs game room. I really do like how they did this built in bench seat all the way down and around. Seems like a fun area for the kids to hang out, play games. And then over here, you're actually gonna have your upstairs little mini bar. Probably not ideal for little kids, but if your kids are a little bit older, or if it's just you as adults, you're gonna have uh, a drink fridge, beverage fridge, plenty of extra cabinet space too, maybe to store your board games. And then we can go any direction, let's go this way. So this is one of the three upstairs bedrooms, and it's a pretty good sized bedroom, but what I want you to do, head on down that hallway, check that out. You've got a really good sized closet, and then you're gonna have your own ensuite bathroom here, so you're not gonna have to share with anybody with this bedroom. And once again, they've got great designers. So this is gonna be another one of your bedrooms. You've got your closet here and then right through there, go check that out. You're gonna have its own bathroom as well. So you're not sharing. And then last but not least, you've got another hallway off of this living room where you're gonna find um, this is actually gonna be your tech room. Come on in here, check this out. They've got their server rack here. This is where your security is gonna come in. This is also where you can store, once again, board games, whatever it is you wanna store. And then this is gonna be a dual purpose bathroom. This is gonna serve as the bathroom for this third bedroom up here, but it's also gonna be your guest bath upstairs. They just took the door off this closet. It is a walk-in closet. This is probably the smallest closet and it's still pretty good size. I love what they did with these maps. That is very cool. Some extra storage. 
By the way, here in Texas, we use our attic space. We don't have basements. Everybody's always asking us, you know, how do I have a 5,000 square foot home without a basement? It's because we have a high water table here in Texas. So what we'll actually do is give you access to the attic. That's probably not the best example, but a lot of people will have walk-in attics where they'll keep a lot of their stuff, uh, keep their winter clothes, throw them in the attic and have a nice place for storage. So with Toll Brothers, this is gonna be their biggest product out here. You can expect their homes to start around a million dollars. And if you go crazy and build up, really well appointed 6,000 plus square foot home on an 80 foot lot on one of their bigger oversized lots, uh, you could pay up to around the $1.4 million mark. So you're gonna have plenty of options if you're wanting those massive five bedroom family homes with Toll Brothers. Location, location, location. That's what they say in real estate and that's what you're getting right here inside of Dunham Point. There are a handful of master plan communities here in Cyprus and they've got a lot of great things going for them. But the one thing that they don't have going for them that Dunham Point has is the location. You are located directly off of Highway 290, which is a very convenient freeway that shoots in and out of Houston. And let me tell you, you've got commercial shopping that is literally endless. Whenever you pull right out of the front of this neighborhood, you're immediately in a four mile long shopping center. You've got everything you could think of from your academy to your grocery stores. I mean, literally I can't name it all. I just key throw some B-roll up and show what this shopping center actually looks like. And then it's not just your everyday needs. They actually have the premium outlet mall located here too. And you're going to have stores like Reebok. I just picked these shoes up right before we started filming here. Check them out. But you're going to have everything at your fingertips when you live right here in Dunham Point. So you're up right here on the northwest side of Houston. And you're not just off Highway 290. You also have Highway 99, which is that outer loop that circles all the way around Houston. And it's really going to give you convenient access anywhere you want to go. If you want to shoot over to the airport, you can just hop on 290 and head on over and catch your flight in and out of town. And as I said, there's a handful of other master plan communities that are very nice here in Cyprus but there are none with this location. You've got to drive 10 to 15 minutes from those other neighborhoods to get on one of these major arteries like 290 to get in and out of Houston if you're commuting, but that's not the case here at Dunham Point. You literally pull out, take a ride on red, and head straight down the freeway going 80 miles an hour straight into downtown Houston. Now that we've shown you how amazing this location is, I'm excited to keep showing you how amazing these homes are. TriPoint is going to be our next builder here and in Dunham Point they actually build two different products. They've got their 60 foot model home right across the street but we are in their big one. This is an 80 foot model home and right when you walk in you can tell that this home is very large. In fact the smallest home that they're going to build on their 80 foot lots is 3,700 square feet but this one that we're in right here is 4,700 square feet. You come right on in into the office and you can tell it's nice and spacious. It's got really cool built-ins. I could just see sitting down here, getting some work done on the computer and maybe subscribing to our YouTube channel, tapping that bell for notifications. That way you can be the first to know about everything going on right here in Houston. That's what I would do if I were you. My name is Kyler Ferris and our team gets calls, texts and emails every single day from people just like you looking to move here to the area. So if that is you, don't be shy. Give us a call, shoot us a text or send us a quick email. That way we can help you make a smooth move right here to Houston, Texas. Now. Let's show you this house. As I mentioned, this one's 4,700 square feet and it is huge. It's five bedrooms. It's got a three car garage and this is your main family room. And when you talk about an open concept, I mean, you've got plenty of room in here. You've got tons of sofa space. You got your TV mounted up over the fireplace, but then it opens up into this gorgeous kitchen. And then you've got a formal dining area over there with the glass sliders. A home like this, you're probably wondering, what does this cost? The model homes are always gonna have more upgrades um, than your spec homes, but this home, if you were to price it today, you could still build this home for a million dollars. And this location, I'm telling you, is phenomenal. You're gonna get a jumbo size lot and everything in here is very custom. I love what I'm looking at as far as the color scheme goes. I love that they're um, getting back into more like natural wood tones. You've got gorgeous, long planked, uh, French oak flooring. This is real wood. I guess it's engineered technically, but it's real. Um, and then obviously some really nice upgraded appliances. This could easily seat 10 people too. Yeah, this place is very big. Um, another thing that I love that you're going to get the option with, with TriPoint, they've got a, a very kind of California vibe to them. In fact, they might be from California. I need to fact check that, but, um, they've got the sliders. Oh, it was already unlocked. So they got the sliders. So for days like today, when the weather is actually pretty nice out, it's a little overcast, but it's like 70 degrees, you're gonna be able to come outside and get that indoor outdoor living. And these sliders, I'll just go ahead and do it for you while we're here. They open all the way up. So 
I mean, I'm not kidding. It really makes this house feel huge when you open these things up. Obviously, you got some upgraded areas here on the back patio. That's not going to come standard, but this, this part, the covered part, is going to come standard. So if you whip around behind you, you can see this thing's pretty big. You got plenty of room for an outdoor dining table as well. Now, most of the lots aren't going to be this size. This would be a lot premium, but it's the model home, and they picked a really good size lot for it. So you got plenty of cabinet space in this house. I love that they kind of have this mini bar that extends over. You got your wine cooler down there, your wine storage. And then I also appreciate that this isn't a pass-through living room. It's very much its own thing. You're not having to walk through to get to the master bedroom. Now, I didn't tell you, they build bigger homes than this one, by the way. They actually build all the way up to 5,100 square feet, and then you have options on that floor plan to make it even bigger. So realistically, you can get it up to around 5,500 square feet. The smaller homes here, the 3,700 square foot ones, if you deck them out, you can still come in around 800,000, which in the scheme of things isn't that bad for how luxury and how nice these homes are. But if you build their biggest home, it's very hard to spend over a million dollars with this builder, and you're gonna get everything that you want. So coming in here, once again, I mean, you expect every room to be large with 4,700 square feet. They're not gonna cut any corners, but that's what you get here. You have a full sitting area here in the primary suite. It's got a king bed. Okay, I always do this, but those are not nightstands. Those are full-size dressers on each side of this. I mean, this is, this is a full dresser. Yeah, I don't, you don't keep like pins in there. You keep like your whole wardrobe. So, wow, this is gorgeous. Huge walk-in shower over there, freestanding tub, got your dual vanity, and then coming back here, your toilet, you got your linen closet, and then this is sweet. I, they built the closet out in here, and so you've got two sides. It's all one closet technically. I love that they utilize this space here underneath the stairs. It's always a good use of space. Man, this looks really good. I don't want my wife to watch this video. <laughs> She's gonna want this closet. Uh, and then you can check it out. You've got this side over here as well. So plenty of storage. All right, this is just one of the five bedrooms. Let's go see what else they have here on the first floor. So now we're right back up here at the front of the house where we walked in. And if you come over here, you're going to have another one of your downstairs bedrooms. I like having this on the first floor because it's, it's basically a second master. It's an in-law suite. Um, and so you've got room on the first floor for somebody else to have their own bathroom. If you've got parents that can't go up and down the stairs or you just want to use it as a guest room, that is an option. Now, let me pause right here. I have a client that actually had a walkthrough earlier today with a different one of the builders but here in this neighborhood, you can actually build next gen products. And what that means is you can actually have a big enough house where you almost have like a studio apartment built into the house where it functions as its own separate part of the house. It's got its own little kitchenette. And with this floor plan, you can actually option to, instead of having the three car tandem garage, you can actually have a standard two car garage and turn this whole thing into that gen, a next gen product where your parents or whoever you want to, or a nanny, or an au pair can actually have their own suite to live in. And so you'd be able to do that with this. I mean, my personal opinion is I'd take the three car garage because this is big enough, but if you really want them to have their own kitchen, you're gonna be able to do that with this builder. So three car garage is that way, extra little storage closet here. We already showed you the study. And then we're gonna go right on upstairs and show you the other bedrooms. So coming upstairs, first thing you're gonna be met with is this landing and it opens up into a big game room. So you got that secondary living space up here but this is what everybody wants. Everybody wants their own media room. It's got no windows, you can close these doors, it's got your surround sound built in, and uh, this is where you're gonna have your movie nights with your family. So they got the TV mounted. This looks like a 65 inch. I've seen people go crazy, mount the projector, and it basically takes up the entire wall. Um, but anyways, if you're gonna build a home this big, it's my opinion that you're gonna have to have a media room. Now, we can go check out the bedrooms, or we can push on this. And we can see that it's got a little secret room built in. I love TriPoint. A lot of their floor plans are actually gonna have this. Now, you could use this for a ton of different things. A lot of people here in Texas would use this as like a gun room, like a secret safe room, but I could see the kids having this as a fun little play space. I know as a kid, I had one buddy who had a secret passage in his house growing up and I just, I lived there. It was the coolest house ever. So, so this is that game room. This is that extra space for the family. And you can see um, some people actually prefer this, but this opens up into the main living space. So it very much overflows down, kind of connecting the upstairs. It gives it this, I mean, very open grand feel to it. You got the windows over here and you got the windows over there bringing in all this natural light. And then 
upgrades that they did. I love the wood on the ceilings. It's just a really fine touch point. Um, that's not gonna come standard. What is gonna come standard is we call these tray ceilings or coffered ceilings, where they just kind of recess a little bit to give the room a little bit more dimension. And then this is gonna be where your other three bedrooms are located. So we'll go this way first. Now at 4,700 square feet, I expect these rooms to be big, but they don't disappoint. Um, they're very good size. This looks like a queen bed. Once again, huge nightstands. And then back on in there, that is a huge walk-in closet for a guest room. Uh, I also like that Keith doesn't know how to back up with a camera. Um, but you've got the window right there giving you light. Who doesn't want a window in their closet? It seems a little bougie, but it's nice. Now this is gonna be a Jack and Jill bathroom. That's what we call them when they're connected and uh, they share. And so you're gonna have that, but check out that closet too. I mean, once again, these are, these are good sizes. And uh, if you're gonna spend a million dollars, I want a walk-in closet in every bedroom personally. Now, we still have one more bedroom to check out, and this one is the largest. So you've got the bathroom, which is gonna connect into this one, but this room is huge. I mean, this is the size of most master bedrooms in homes. Really what helps it is you've got this kind of bump out bay window. It's cool they did this as a built-in. I can see you doing like a desk, a built-in desk up here. Um, but this is gonna double as a bathroom for this bedroom, as well as the kind of the upstairs, um, like guest bathroom. So good size closet here too. Really, I hope this gives you a good example of what you can get for a million dollars here. And you can have a really well-appointed home here. Smaller square footage size, like I said, around $800,000. Zone to these great schools right next to all this amazing shopping, really with a top tier builder. As I told you, we've been waiting to show you this neighborhood because I've wanted them to finish their amenity center and they are right there. It is completed. They're about to put the gym equipment inside of the amenity center, but up there, it's not a robust set of amenities, but they're very nice. As I mentioned, this is a boutique neighborhood. When the neighborhood's complete, you're gonna see around a thousand homes in total. And as you can already start to tell, these homes are all very nice. And so you would expect that the amenities would be nice. And when you pull up there, you're gonna see what I'm talking about. It looks like an Italian villa. I don't, I've never been to Italy, but it's what I imagine that would actually look like. And so you're gonna have your adult pool, which is off to the side, it's a smaller pool, and then you're gonna have your larger family pool, you've got your bathrooms up there, and then you're going to have an event center too. So if you're a neighborhood resident, you can expect to go up to neighborhood events located up at that event center, and then you're also gonna be able to rent it out as well. And so that's what's gonna be located up at the amenity complex. And then all throughout the neighborhood, you're actually gonna see some really pretty ponds. Now they're still digging some of them, and so they don't quite look as pretty as they're going to look, but they're gonna put fountains in them. And you can even get some homes, if you move quick enough, that back up to these ponds. And so my clients that just closed a week ago back up to a pond and when it's all completed, it's gonna be a really nice view that they're gonna have forever. Now, what do these amenities cost? Well, the HOA here is going to run you $1,000 a year, which is actually slightly lower than a lot of master plan communities. Usually you'll see them running from about 1,000 to $1,400 a year for neighborhoods that aren't behind gated sections. And so at $1,000, you're gonna get access to all those amenities and the HOA is really gonna make sure that nobody is doing anything in the neighborhood with their home that could bring down the property value of your home. And the tax rate's also important here. Most of these newer master plan communities are gonna have tax rates up over 3%. That is the case here. The tax rate is 3.3% at the current time, but uh, as time goes on and the neighborhood is further into development or completed, you're typically gonna see those tax rates start to ease their way on down. But right now, they're at 3.3%. Now we are inside of the Newmark 70 foot model home. In fact, this is the builder that I just had a closing with last week. And this builder has some amazing options. Now they're only building on 70 foot products, but Newmark is a really well-known builder here in the Houston area. And they're gonna have some really modern touches. Now, right whenever you walk in, this one is set up as an open office space. You could throw some doors on this and close it in, but they have it open. It's totally your call. But right when you walk in, this is one of my favorite things about this home. Everybody loves these spiral staircases and not all builders do them, but Newmark is going to offer them. So you got this really pretty wood tread that matches this wood look tile. This isn't real hardwood floors, or these aren't real hardwood floors, but they're wood look tile, super durable, great for pets and great for those kids. You can beat them up, they're not gonna do anything wrong, but you got the spiral staircase and look, it really opens up. I mean, it goes up higher even than two stories. It's almost like a, like a castle up there, a nice rotunda. Um, you come in, we'll come back to the front bedroom up here. I just wanna to get to the heart of the home, but when you come in, you've got the formal dining over here. Once again, designed really nice, sleek. 
and modern. And through the builder, you're gonna be able to do some of this upgraded trim work. Um, it really just gives dimension to the room. It's not expensive. These are just like one and a half by one strips of wood, um, essentially to break up the wall, give it a little bit of texture. So let's go on over here. This is where the magic happens. This is the main living room. And the first thing you're gonna notice are these windows. These go all the way up. I mean, the top of that window is probably 16 or 18 feet. So you're getting all this natural light. And what I like about this home specifically is they didn't block out that light with the patio. The patio is actually right over off the kitchen over here. And so this is definitely that big, wide, open concept that you start to get and start to feel in these 70 foot products. So you've got the informal dining room right here. You could call this the kitchenette. You've got the formal over there, but they've got a pretty good sized table smack dab right here in the middle of the living room and the kitchen. But come on over here. Uh, you're gonna see some higher end finishes with Newmark. You've got the waterfall edge on these counters. That's gonna be an option. Plenty of cabinet space, upgraded appliances. And I always love when they tuck away a nice little wet bar over here. It's great for your coffee. They've got the wine fridge or beverage fridge if you don't drink. Great place to store wine glasses. And then coming over here, you're gonna have a lot of options for upgraded appliance packages with Newmark. And that's gonna be the case with a lot of these builders. I don't know if you notice, all the homes in this neighborhood are nice. There's not a not nice home in this whole neighborhood. So they're all very nice, um, but all these builders are gonna be a little bit different. You're gonna get homes on the small side starting around 3,600 square feet with Newmark. And then their larger homes are actually gonna be around 4,600 square feet with a few options to make them maybe a slightly larger. So. You got your cornered pantry, pretty decent size. And one thing I wanna note about Newmark, they actually have a lot of different floor plans and six of their floor plans are actually gonna offer secondary spice kitchens. So if you really like to cook and you like to have a clean main kitchen, you can tucked away, you know, right over there on a different floor plan, you'd be able to have a separate spice kitchen. So some people really like that. I like how the sink is actually positioned over here. Look at this view. Got a great view of one of the ponds out here. This model home is situated on the pond. You've got the back patio over there, and then you've got this really deep quartz sink with no divider, fit all of your dishes. It's got a really cool look to it as well. And then, yeah, let's pop outside. Let's check out the patio. So here you've got a covered patio. This is gonna come standard on pretty much all of their floor plans. Uh, it's pre-plumbed with gas and water. So if you wanted to build an outdoor kitchen, you can do that and you can do that through the builder. In fact, my clients that just closed opted for the outdoor kitchen. They had the Coyote grill, um, gas grill just tied in. So the day that they moved in, they could start having their barbecues. And they actually put wood look tile on the, um, on the patio. So it's not just an unfinished concrete. It's got a nice clean look to it. Kind of ties the inside to the outside. So as we come back inside, you've got your main living room over here. And as I mentioned, there's plenty of space in here and it opens all the way up to the second story. So you can see up there, you've got the balcony. We're gonna check out the upstairs here in just a little bit. They did this um, veneer, I wouldn't even call it brick. They're small, it's almost like a textured subway tile, but it looks really cool. And you're gonna have the option for the electric or gas fireplaces. A lot of people are going with these electric fireplaces now just because they have a pretty clean, more modern look to them. But as we come into the primary suite, it's, uh, it's sat on the back side of the home. So you're gonna have great views of the backyard and the pond in this room as well. But you've got a whole seating area here. They don't have a TV in here, but if you did have one, you could literally have a, I don't know, a TV room in your, in your bedroom. This is a full king size bed, pretty good size nightstands. And it's gonna lead you over here into your primary bathroom. You've got his and her vanities. You've got the freestanding tub and then a really good size, fully tiled, walk-in shower and what i like is it's got the dual sprayers on it so you got one of your closets over here and it's going to run back pretty pretty far so you got options for some upgraded built-ins all these builders like i said they're going to have the ability to go crazy in the design center so you could get a bare bones closet or you could get a fully custom twenty thousand dollar closet system now, one more thing as we come back into the living room, they've got these really nice built-ins. They're actually floating built-ins. I think it adds a really nice, more modern touch to the home. And if you actually look up this way, they've got the built-in speakers. So you do have the surround sound as an option here in the main living area. But this isn't the only place you're gonna watch TV. Stick around, we got something pretty cool to show you upstairs. So this is your landing area. This is gonna be right off where you enter in from the garage. 
and they've got really cool built-ins here for the kids, backpacks, shoes, all of that. And then they actually have cabinetry here. I don't see this a lot, but I like the extra storage. I could see this as like your key drawer or your miscellaneous drawer. And then you've got the laundry room over here. Not a massive laundry room in this floor plan, but they've got some floor plans with some much bigger laundry options. Now, I'm not gonna show you in this garage because it's got a bunch of junk in it right now, but they've got three car garage options, and then they're also going to have these multi-generational home options. And if you don't know what those are, essentially what they do is they take some of the extra garage space and they actually convert it into a separate living quarters with its own kitchen, bathroom, and sometimes up to two different bedrooms. That's what my clients that just closed built, and they're gonna be able to have their parents actually live with them in their house, but still have that little bit of separation so that they're not always in your space. So we're gonna check out the three bedrooms that are upstairs because this is a full five bedroom home. So when you get to the top of the stairs, you can go left or right. We're gonna go down this way. They actually have this set up as an office. This is Mimi, this is who I just worked with here. She's awesome, she's incredible. So that's one of the bedrooms. And then you come in here and this is its own ensuite as well with its own bathroom. And so this will give you a pretty good idea of the size of their bedrooms. And a lot of times five bedroom homes cut you a little bit short in the bedroom space and the closet space. Not gonna be the case with this builder. When you're on these big 70 foot lots, you really have room to not cut corners anywhere. You got a really good size walk-in closet over here. And this is just one of the three bedrooms up here. And as we head back to the other side of the upstairs, I do wanna show you, this is one of those very open concept homes where you've got the upstairs overflowing here into the living space and it's just going to give it a really grand feel some people like that some people don't totally up to you now we've got another bedroom down this direction that's set up as another office but this is really what you buy a big family two-story home for it's to have that secondary space upstairs this is a massive game room tv room you name it great place to hang out um, I could see you having a pool table, ping pong table. Here's the cool thing. This isn't the only space up here. You actually have a separate media room and it's sunken down. It's nice and cozy. You got this low profile sofa here. You got your TV and it really just makes you want to sit down, take a nap, hang out with the family, watch a movie. The possibilities are endless. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're probably wondering, what does something like this cost? Well, on the smaller side, if you build their 3,600 square foot product, and you go with their minimum stuff, you're probably gonna be somewhere in the 700s, the high 700s, but if you go crazy, you build their biggest floor plan around 4,600 square feet, and you pick all the bells and whistles out, you could probably end up somewhere around $1.1 million, but there's definitely a sweet spot. You can still get a really big home like this that's very well appointed, probably somewhere in the eight to $900,000 range. Schools are a big factor in a lot of people's home buying decisions. And if it's a big factor in yours, you're in luck because Dunham Point is zoned to Cypress Fairbanks ISD. And if you're not familiar, they are some of the best schools in the entire Houston area. If you go anywhere in this district, look it up online. We recommend going to niche.com. Look at the school ratings for yourself. Everybody that lives here absolutely loves the schools. In fact, people fight to get into these schools. And if you're looking for master plan communities here in Cyprus, you've got a couple of options, but not all of them that are still building new construction are actually zoned to Cypher. And so if you are looking for a master plan community zoned to Cypher, you only have a few options and Dunham Point is gonna be one of them. So now we're inside of Coventry's model home. This is their 70 foot product. They're also gonna build on 50 foot lots here as well, but this is their larger product and we are inside of their largest floor plan. This home that we're about to show you is right about 4,600 square feet. Now in their 70 foot lots, they're actually gonna start around 3,300 square feet. So pretty good sizing options depending on exactly what you need, but they're gonna have some of those bigger two-story family homes. And even though these lots aren't quite as big as those 80-foot lots, I think what you're gonna find is that there's still some really nice features and it's still a very spacious home. So right when you come in, you've got the formal dining room right up at the front of the house. And then right on the other side, you're gonna have that home study, that office. So if you do work from home, uh, you're gonna be able to get your work done right up at the front of the house. But before we even make it to the living room, you're met with what I would say is a staple of the home. Um, this is an add-on option and you've got your wine locker over here and it is really pretty. Uh, and I just, once again, it's just kind of that staple of the home and it kind of goes super well with this, um, with this curved staircase that opens up and really it opens up the house to be two stories. You've got your half bath right here and then you come on in here and this is going to be the heart of the home. This is gonna be your living room with your kitchen and uh, it's a really good space. 
And one of the things that you're gonna have the option with with Coventry is having these big two-story family rooms. So you can look right on up there and you'll notice that it's an overflow. So it kind of connects that first and second floor. It gives it a much grander feel and it also is gonna bring in more natural light. And one thing that I appreciate, this is a detail, but it's something to pay attention to. See those upper windows up there? The patio itself is actually a lot taller. And because of that, you're gonna get more natural light in. A lot of these two-story homes will still have one-story patios. My wife, it bugs her. I don't know why, but it's just something she always comments on. So you've got your kitchen. Um, it's really well appointed. They've got the waterfall edge with the quartz, which I really like. Uh, if you don't know what that is, basically it's where the countertop makes the right angle and goes all the way down to the floor. I think it's a really cool feature. Um, nice stainless appliances. You got your farmhouse sink. And here's what I'll say. You're gonna have a lot of options in this price range. Base prices are gonna start around $799, and I've actually seen some of their inventory homes recently sell just over that $800,000 mark. Or you could build their biggest floor plan on a 70-foot lot, which is this one, around 4,600 square feet, with all of the bells and whistles, and you could spend right around 1.1 million. So you're gonna have options. You don't have to spend 1.1, but you can. You're gonna see a theme through all these homes in these higher price points. They all pretty much have the same floors. They're all these light uh, oak, real wood floors, and then this is actually your kitchenette. This is not your formal dining. We already saw that up at the front of the house. This is just your casual kitchenette area. And then this, this is that patio I was telling you about. Go on out there and look up. You're gonna see what I'm talking about. It's a massive covered patio. And this is stamped and stained concrete. I really like this. It gives it a much better look. It's more cohesive with the house than your just standard gray concrete. And then you've got the Coyote outdoor grill and it's plumbed, it's got a sink, so you do have an outdoor kitchen set up. And then spin around over here. There aren't many lots like this here in the neighborhood, but you actually can get on the water. In fact, I've got a closing tomorrow morning with some clients that built with Newmark on the water. So that is gonna be a lot option if you want that. Now, now that we're back inside the living room, we're gonna come right this way. And this is gonna be your master bedroom. It's right off of the living room, tucked in. And just like the others, it is huge. These are all massive homes. These are the big boys. This neighborhood really doesn't have many smaller homes. We'll show you those here in a little bit, but their smallest homes are not small. You've got tons of natural light. Hold on, let me back it up. This bay window carries all the way across, and I know it's a crummy day outside, but you get so much light in here. I will say this, I like it, it's pretty, but you're gonna have a lot of trouble blocking out the light if you sleep in here. I'm just gonna be honest. I don't like that now. I liked it, now I don't like it. So, this is gonna be your primary bathroom. It's got the freestanding tub. It's got the classy marble look. I feel like I'm being negative here, Keith. I'm gonna be honest again. This gets very dirty. Looks very pretty, you gotta keep it really clean. If you keep it clean, it's gorgeous. Now, we haven't seen this in any of the other homes. Floating cabinets, pretty cool. Not gonna stub your toe, I appreciate that. But, a con to that too. You're gonna have to get up under there and clean. So think about these things. Here we go, we're gonna have a little fun with this. I'm going this way, I'll see you on the other side. So you've got your shower in here, got a nice little seat, got your loofah, have a good time. Plenty of space, it's one shower head, but room for two people if that's your cup of tea, and then come this way, and it really opens up. They've got a lot of their design selections in here, similar to the other builders. You're gonna get to go to the design center. This is just to show people that happen to be here you know, in the office, um, but you're gonna be able to pick everything out in the design center that you would possibly want. And they go all the way up in the closets, so they actually have three levels to hang clothes. It's very nice, it's gonna give you a whole lot more room. Before we go upstairs, there's actually another bedroom down here. And we passed it earlier, but I did wanna show you the master bedroom first. And it's nice, it kinda lives like a one story here on the first floor. So this is gonna be um, your secondary downstairs bedroom. Now, compared to the other houses we've looked at, this is actually a little bit smaller downstairs ensuite, but it still has its own bathroom, its own walk-in closet, uh, and its own shower. I feel like they spent money everywhere else in the house except for that shower. Tell me what you think, but I personally think they could have spent a little bit more money on that. Before we head on upstairs, you are gonna have your laundry room down over here, and then this is gonna go over to your garage, and then you're gonna have your little landing area here to get settled in before you make your way into the house. Now. We didn't show you how this connects, but you actually have a connection from the living room down this way. You're gonna have your pantries where you can keep all your food. Take a look. And then you're gonna be able to head this way. And you've got your coffee bar hidden. 
And this is nice because with the formal dining room, if you did want to serve people and have guests over, you could you know, prep some of the food, leave it right here, and then easily serve. Now this second floor lacks nothing. It actually is a ton of space, but the first thing I want to show you is that it does overflow, like I mentioned down there, down into the living room. And so uh, it is going to be uh, connected, but as we head on over to the upstairs game room, it is a little bit more partitioned off, which I like. Just with kids, it can get really loud upstairs, as we all know, and so you want a little bit of separation. So this is the best of both worlds. You've got the overflow, giving you those two-story ceilings on the first floor, but then as you'll see here in a second, the game room is kind of partitioned off. But first, you're met with this little landing area up here, and I love this. It's, it's just an extra little detail, but for those kids doing homework that want a little place to study, they're gonna have that right here upstairs. And then we're gonna come this way, and this is really where the magic happens. If I'm living in this house and I wanna hang out with my family, this is where I'm spending the bulk of our time. And you've got two things going on. Right when you come in here, you think, okay, this is just a game room, but it's not. Turn around, take a look. It's all connected. You've got this awesome media room set up here. So I guess the only con here is, you know, noise-wise, it's not technically its own media room, but I actually like it. It opens up the space and it really gives you one big room for everybody to hang out. So you could have a movie on over here, be hanging out, and you could be playing pool, playing games, whatever it is up here. Coventry does a really good job of thinking through these playrooms. Uh, I look at a lot of their homes all across the city and out of all of the builders, I would say they're in the top two or three when it really comes to thinking through the space for those secondary play areas for the families. Now, as we come down this way, we're gonna skip this bathroom because you'll see it here in a second. Um, but what they did is they actually loaded this section of the house with the bedrooms, which could be good, could be bad. Uh, the only downside to it could just be like the noise, but this is just one specific floor plan. Um, but all of the rooms are decent size um, and they're all gonna have their own bathrooms. That's the key here. A lot of these bigger two-story family homes at lower price points, they're gonna have three bedrooms upstairs sharing one bathroom, not the case here. You can check it out, it's got its own bathroom. And then this bedroom is gonna be larger for the girls, obviously, the girls get the bigger room and it's got its own bathroom as well. It's got two closets, so not massive but pretty good hanging space. Uh, it's gonna give you ooh, decent storage. And then this bedroom over here, it has its own bathroom, but it's also gonna double as the upstairs guest bathroom. And so as you walk through, you'll see that it connects through. You've got uh, your own vanity over there, and then it connects through back over to this way. So this is gonna be the Coventry 70 foot product. As I mentioned, this is on the bigger side at 4,600 square feet. They start at 3,300, but most of them are gonna be these bigger two story homes, but they also have some really good one story floor plans too. So if you don't want the stairs and you want all of it on one floor, in 70 foot lots and 80 foot lots, you're really gonna be able to have those bigger one story footprints. So if you want a one story, you're gonna be able to build that with Coventry as well. Now we're inside of David Weekly's 65 foot model home and David Weekly is going to build on 50 foot lots, which is their smaller product and then 65 foot. Now we're sticking with the theme of showing you the bigger options in Dunham Point because they are known for their bigger options. Unlike a lot of the other master plan communities, they've got some really large homes out here and it's not just one or two builders. All of them are building some big products. So 65 foot products are going to range on the small side from still around 2,700 square feet all the way up to 4,600 square feet. So we're in a one story, 3,000 square foot, four bedroom home, and it's got a really cool feature that I wanna tell you about here in just a second. But right when you come into the home, you've got some bedrooms we'll check out, but I don't really know what you call this space, to be completely honest. I would probably close it in and turn this into a home office, um, but as it is right now, it's kind of a, like a little formal den. You could you know, get a little bit of work done here, and it, because it is a one story, it gives you that second space here on the first floor um, you know, to get a little bit of separation, because a lot of one stories don't actually offer that. But when you come in here, it's really gonna open up into the family room. You've got your formal dining room off to the side, but it still opens up into the main living area. You've got the cathedral ceiling with a really pretty beam running across it. And then the living room is gonna connect with the kitchen. Uh, I do like these cabinets. They go two-tone here. They actually have an olive green. I appreciate when model homes uh, don't just go basic. They really showcase the features that they have. Even their cabinets aren't just gonna be a modern shaker. It actually has a more classy, elegant feel than some of the others. <clears throat> You're gonna have options too for the glass um, cabinetry. Personally, I wouldn't want all glass, but it's nice to just have one or two to showcase everything, but then you can hide your junk in the rest. 
Um, this is actually a quartz sink. So they've got different colors. You can do black, white. This one's gray. This is the first time I've seen this. We've got the white quartz sink at our house and I personally really love it. You can have your pantry kind of tucked in over here. Not quite as large as some of the other homes that we've seen, but still in the day and age where most people eat out, so plenty of space to store your food. Now, this floor plan has the option of adding sliders, which they've done. If they didn't add the sliders, you would just have windows and you would come right on out this door and you would go out on the patio, which go ahead and check that out and you could see that. However, with this option, you're gonna have these sliders. So you're gonna be able to really open up the home, gives it a nice look. And if you look down, um, they did the spray decking all out here. So we've seen a bunch of different outdoor patio textures. Um, this is easy. They just spray deck it and usually they can pick whatever color you want to match your house. Um, pretty good size outdoor living space. If you swing around, you can actually see they got a cute little swing over there. Um, so you got plenty of room for that outdoor space. Now, as you come back in, I love this in one stories. We already saw that you could convert that front room into an office, which is probably what I would do. But if you swing around there, I'm actually going to meet you in this room and you'll see that you have a separate downstairs media room. And so you could use this as a game room, media room, but really I view that as more of like a formal living room. And this is the informal cozy. This is where you're going to hang out. If you've got kids, we got little kids, I would probably make this the playroom. That way, you know, all the toys are tucked in. It's right off the living room where mom can keep an eye on the kiddos, um, but all the toys aren't like out in the living room. You can have their own separate space. And then it's gonna connect over here to the master bedroom. And I will say this, this might be one of my favorite master bedrooms because of the ceiling height. They keeping with the theme of those cathedral ceilings and they ship lapped it. So right here in the center, You've got 16 foot ceilings. These are massive. You usually see nine, 10 foot, maybe 12 foot max in a master bedroom, but you're gonna have 16 foot ceilings in here. Plenty of room, plenty of space. And then the bathroom's a good size. It's very much a galley style bathroom. So it's kind of like a hallway. You've got your dual vanities and then you've got one massive walk-in shower. They optioned for no tub here. Uh, you would have the option when you build to have a tub if you wanted. And then back over here, Pretty good size closet. Um, they do have some nicer finishes in this closet that they upgraded to. Um, this is actually kind of nicer um, closet space than what we saw in even some of the more expensive homes. So that's what you got here in the bathroom. Now we're back up at the front of the house. In fact, you're standing right inside of the windows that look out to the front yard. And this is one of the other three bedrooms downstairs. We saw the primary and in a one story, the bedrooms, because they just, well, there's only so much room. They're all gonna be right next to each other in this floor plan. And so these two bedrooms are actually gonna connect with this bathroom. Um, swing around and I'll meet you in the next bedroom. So you come right on over here. As you can see, it's an easy connection through. And then if you take a peek over here, they continued with that pretty olive color. So they actually have it here, you know, on that cabinetry, just like they did in the kitchen. So you can have two of these bedrooms and then you'll cross over here down the hallway and then you're gonna have access to your other bedroom. So all three kind of guest bedrooms, you could call them, or kids' bedrooms, are gonna be up at the front of the house. And then the closet space is gonna get a little smaller in these one stories, because they're trying to pack everything in on that same footprint. Even though it's a 65 foot lot, it's still a very big lot. Um, when you have a one story, you're pretty limited in, in configurations, essentially. And so you're gonna have your downstairs um, half bath. Well, it's actually, it's a full bath, but it's your guest bath that's gonna be for this bedroom as well as for your guests that come to visit. And the feature I was kinda of waiting till the end to show you, David Weekly on a lot of their floor plans is actually gonna offer a four car garage. Now we'll see three car tandem garages sometimes, but this is a four car tandem. And if you don't know what that means, it means that it's two cars wide, but it's also two cars deep. So plenty of room to have a man cave in there if you wanted, plenty of room for your tools, you could have a golf cart or you could literally have four cars. So that's gonna be down this hallway. You got your laundry room over here. And then if you swivel around, you actually have a pretty good recessed landing area, a little bench for the kids to put their shoes on. Uh, extra coat closet, which is really nice. So it's enclosed storage. This is probably where you'd you know, put your vacuum cleaner, stuff like that. And then this is where you would see that, um, that four car garage. Now, uh, as it stands right now, they actually have it set up as offices. So this is where if you came with us up here to meet with some of the builders, that's where we would sit down and talk with them to start building your perfect home. But if you like this 65 foot product with David Weekly, you're actually gonna see prices starting around 600,000. 
for those um, smaller one-story products, that 2,700 to 3,000 square foot product. And then if you go all the way up to their 4,600 square foot, the big ones, uh, you could be looking to pay upwards of 800,000 for a really well-appointed home with you know 150 or 200,000 dollars in the design center. So with David Weekly and the 65 foot product, you're actually gonna have plenty of affordable options. I don't know about you, but I could actually see myself living here. If I wanted to move to Cypress, Texas, and I wanted that master planned community in a fantastic location right next to all that shopping, zoned to these A-rated schools with some of these top tier builders. I mean, you saw these homes, these things are nice, then I would definitely look at Dunham Point. But if you wanna keep exploring and you're looking for other master plan communities here in the Cypress area, they do exist. You've probably heard about Bridgeland, which is massive, developed by the same developer as the Woodlands. That's definitely one that you should explore as well. And then there's Town Lake. It doesn't get much better than Town Lake. If you wanna know more about either of those communities, check out our video on Bridgeland or our video on Town Lake. They will tell you everything that you need to know but we will tell you everything that you need to know if you're actually looking to move here. So don't be shy. Just give us a call, shoot us a text, send us a quick email. That way we can help you make a smooth move right here to Cyprus.